Oh, we are all very excited about about having a chance again. That's how it is. We, we, last year we we played it, and I know you all make that's experience, of course. We, four years ago, a couple of us played um, another final. So um, yes, we are probably then more experienced like the other team. But that doesn't how, how Polch probably is right. It make, doesn't make really the difference. It's about dealing with the situation the best way. That's of course, but it's all about using the things you they, they brought you to the final. That's it, and now we, so far, we, we control our emotions in a, in, a, in a really good way. We let them go and um, in the right in the right manner and all that stuff. So yeah, it's um, in a in a moment. It's pure, it's pure excitement. Really looking forward to it and and being really happy to have that chance again. That's what we wanted to have after last year, and now we are here. All good. More than have to check on Roberto Firmino as well. Obviously, we know he joined in with the group again last week. So, how is he? How sharp is he? How ready is he to start? And is there any chance for Naby Keita as well? No chance for Naby. Naby is really progressing well. With the, uh, we will see how how it will work out for him with the African Cup of Nations. Don't know that yet. Um, um, and Bobby, yeah, trained. Uh, was part of training last week, looked really good, everything fine. And then we took him out for uh, again and um, will be in training, I think, from tomorrow on again. So, um, yeah, all what we saw so far looked really good. And, um, and yeah, he will, be, he will be fine, I'm pretty sure. I don't like to blame my other teams, to be honest. Um, I, I, I love them all. That's how it is, so, because they all gave their everything and this team is doing well. But this is, I've never been part of a final with a better team than this. That's true. But um, in a different times, for different reasons, we were, my teams were, were good as well. And um, yeah, uh, we, I'm not so surprised because the boys are, uh, how we call it, mix up potential with attitude in the best way I ever fancied. So, uh, I ever, um, uh, ever witnessed, sorry, I ever saw, experienced. So that's um, just brilliant, it's, uh, exceptional, and that brought us where we are. So we could have said a couple of weeks ago, it's not really likely that you can will be champion at the end of the season. Oof. Human beings are like that. You stop giving you everything because only for a chance we are not really ready. We want to have it for sure. These boys did it for the chance for being there, but gave us a lot, showed us a lot. And um, yeah, in these five, six days between Barcelona and Barcelona, I would say nobody believed more in, in this team than the team itself. So that was, that was brilliant. And that's why we are here. It's, um, it's a sensational situation, I would say. Being here again is, is great. We didn't, exp we wanted it. We wanted it really desperately, but it looked like it slipped through our fingers in the group stage already. Um, we had a brilliant start in the Premier League, but struggled a bit in away games against uh, um, uh, in away games in our group. But did it in the most mature way. You can do it against the Italian side. You have to win one 0 unbelievable. And since then, all our away games were really impressive. Barcelona not result-wise, but performance-wise 100%. Bayern Munich, Porto was really, really, was really good. And so, um, yeah. Yes, it has. It, it had big influence on us. So it was like from the, I, I remember that situation when we were, I think I said it already, that when we stand in the cube in the, at, the, at the airport in Kiev on the way home, all in the tracksuits, heads down, stuff like that. Everybody really frustrated, just very disappointed about the situation. Uh, you could, we could not really get it. It was not allowed to be angry on this or that. And it was a lot of different emotions in our head, obviously. But the plan was, we come again. We will be there again. And uh, now we are there. That's, that's just incredible. But there was a long time in between. I think a lot, pretty much each team who lost the final uh, will think, yeah, we put that right um, at any point. And then have not a chance next year. We have the chance, and um, yeah, it was the it was the the, the, the kickstart for the development of this team 100%. From the first day in the preseason when we were all together, um, from the first match day, was a, a big, 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 big step for the boys. This team is not 
not even to compare with the team of last year. So and that's good. The best, the best, the best uh, piece of character of this team is the the constant readiness for development. Just and that's how it is. So you have to develop. You can always, I like to 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 take James Milner as an example because Millie's. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that in public, but me, my 33. And so, um, and is still developing in really big steps. Calming down here, using his unbelievable skills. The dynamic, what do you mean? Let's keep uh, it. If you were playing Real Madrid or Barcelona, it, it maybe it would have a real feel of a European game. This is, this <laughs> oh, is we the feel best it. game being played for. No, 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 three weeks in between. Um, so we feel it as a real European final, as nothing else. So um, it always can happen. Um, and how it looks at the moment, it's not unlikely that it can happen in the, in the, in the near future again. Um, that two English teams can be in the, in the final, that like Spanish teams did from time to time. One time it was us and Bayern. So um, no, it's a proper European final, nothing else. It's not the third game we play against Tottenham or whatever. It's a European final, and um, that's how they prepare it, and that's how we prepare it. Okay, second row, gentlemen. Yep. Hello, Jurgen Jose Alvarez for Jugones from Spain. Guardiola said a lot of times that for him it's more important to win Premier League than Champions League. What is your opinion? Which is more important for you? <laughs> yeah, look, that's how it is. Um, Pep has that to say probably. Um, <laughs> because he was not in the Champions League final for a while, don't go quite it wrong. We all know that he's the best manager in the world and he deserves all the praise he, he gets. But it's like, it's, you ask us questions, I, I, you ask me the question, what is more important to you as a Liverpool manager? I have to say the whole year. Um, the Premier League, because people say it's the Premier League, that's okay, we tried everything. I think nobody is in doubt about our desire to win the Premier League, but it was a better team, so we accept that. We cannot ignore that there's another competition where we are in. So it's the Champions League, we want to go as far as possible. Um, that means uh, we want to win it, that's it. But um, that's it. how I said, if Pep said that, I'm not sure he said that. I heard him saying um, that people accept, uh, only will see him as a, as a success or this area of success if they win the Champions League as well. So you see how, how luxury the problems are he has. So, um, but it's all good, how I said, and um, I'm sure they will try it again, and um, he has the opportunity to win this, this competition as well, and yes, during the season we have to, we, we, we have to fight against them um, for the Premier League title, and um, there's another competition, and this year we were a little bit better than them in this competition. Oh, it will be very tight, no doubt, but it would have been very tight. The quality of, of Tottenham and us is, is, um, is pretty similar, so that's how it is. The difference between us in the league was, um, was consistency. We won both games against Tottenham, but both games 2-1. We had brilliant periods in the games against Tottenham where I think we deserved, we deserved to win, but um, at the, especially the home game was an absolute tight game with a lucky goal, lucky punch from us in the pretty much last minute. So that's what we expect, there's no doubt about that. But Posh is right that uh, emotions will be completely different. You, you have to be, um, you have to do, use all the things you, you use during the season, but in the specific circumstances. And we are all human beings, eh? it's a special game, and then after that it's no game anymore, and all this stuff. So bring ourselves in the right mood is, that, is, is for us the job to do, to, to really um, play the game we want to play, and we know about Tottenham a lot, of course, but we had three weeks' time on Saturday, we had three weeks' time to prepare the game. After these three weeks, I would have known um, the name of the groundsman of Barcelona as well if they would have been the, 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 the opponent. So um, that's how the football world is. We would have known against each other team in the world exactly the same. Um, but against them, we played, so we know it's difficult. Tottenham know it's difficult. So let's play a difficult game and let's win it. OK, we've got the next three questions. Gentlemen, with the mic, and then if we can go back the row, and then we'll go over there to finish it. Yeah. Hello, Jürgen. This is PP Sports from China. And you have led Liverpool to Champions League final for two uh, last two years. And this is what you haven't done before. So do you think this is already the highest or the greatest moment in your coaching career? Oh, if I win it, yes. Would be different to the last finals, huh? So, <laughs> um, to, to, to bring the team to the Champions League final again, if that's the biggest moment in my career. 
No, no, the biggest moment of my career was 2004, getting promoted with Mainz 05. <laughs> that was the biggest moment of my career. I cannot change that. And um, if you would have known what, what we had, the money we had, the circumstances we had, nobody needed us in the first league. Yeah, that was so far the biggest moment. Winning the Champions League with Liverpool, then I would think new. But so far, it's getting promoted with Mainz. Uh, yeah, a couple more, Issa, and then we go back. Jürgen Utekobo at ZDF, good morning. Um, you said it's pure excitement at the moment. How do you take the excitement from here, including Anfield, to Madrid? I don't know exactly, but that will, the boys are like this. It's not, it's not about me how I said. Um, um, I'm really, I'm really, really happy for the boys that we have their chance. And this chance gives us all the excitement. That we, it's, it's just that we had um, the, best, the, the best moment for the final would have been five minutes after we finished the game against Barcelona. So come on, let's play it immediately. But that was obviously not possible. It's good that it was not possible because I'm not sure exactly what would have happened health-wise. But from my mind, that's now, of course, we had now, it, it was from the first day, you, you, the, the mood in the, in the team was really brilliant, the, 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 the working, the work rate and, and attitude, all this stuff was brilliant. So that's what shows you these boys want to be there. It's not now each day counts, it's like, oh my God, now it's coming up and we get a bit scared, scared or whatever, we really want to be there. Um, that's the only chance to win it if you be part of it and um, that's what we want to do. And the year before, I was not sure if it's, if it's right or wrong, but we, we said, okay, we want to we be in, at Kiev.